So they naturally, they even say they naturally have high testosterone levels. So if you're telling me someone has naturally high testosterone levels, why would you discriminate them? Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm here to talk about our two girls, Christine Boma and Beatrice Masilingi. Okay, so literally our girls got withdrawn out of the match after being found out that they don't qualify for the Olympic Games. But let's just take a look at the video where uh, Boma won. Then you tell me what you think, okay? Absolutely flying. Looked around about 23.3 seconds that I can see. And you don't do this. You're not supposed to do this to world class athletes. We've got the European champion in Viti Urkovic. And Bomba is absolutely flying. Keep an eye on that clock. 49.22 there she is the there she goes, my dear number one. Huh? So, guys, look at me today. Do I look like a man? Or I look like a lady? Do I look like I have high testosterone? Or high progesterone? I don't even know if that makes sense. But guys, I, I'm really, really disappointed in this. Like, I'm looking at all this news here. I'm having my laptop, by the way. If you're thinking what I'm looking at down here. And I'm really, really disappointed. I don't even have words. I don't have words at all all right so let's just dive into the video don't mind guys it's a friday and i'm really tired but i just wanted to do this video and give my opinion so stay in tune with me let's just get started okay so let's look at bomber bomber literally won the first position under the four, woman 400 meters with within 48.54 seconds and this makes her the world's under 20 record fastest time uh, winner this year and literally they decided to withdraw her and as well as beatrice maslingi so guys we are here to talk i'm here just to express my greatest disappointment of what happened to our girls i'm namabian so i'm really really disappointed in this because i'm still failing to understand it I'm still failing to understand the whole situation. I mean, how do you just get someone excited and take that excitement away? Hi, Christine, back in the bus. Uh, you just finished the race with the, with the new uh, world lead and the world record for juniors. Uh, tell us, how was the race and how do you feel? Oh, I feel it was great. The race was very good. I really enjoyed the uh, race. I didn't expect to run for the eight. It's, it's too much for me. <laughs> Christine, is there any message that you would like to say to the people in Namibia, all your fans and your family back home? Uh, I would say I love them and thank you for always supporting me. For supporting me, and I hope they will still continue supporting. All right. So our girl, uh, Boma, Christian Boma, and Beatrice Masilingi they were withdrawn from the olympic games after they found out they're not eligible for the regulations for the female classification that applied to the running event for the 400 meter to the mile just like as in what as in what and the reason is they are found to have high testosterone. Testosterone, the hormone that is found in men and women. Yes. I'm just I'm just looking at this article here. So they naturally, they even say they naturally have high testosterone levels. So if you're telling me someone has naturally high testosterone levels why would you discriminate them over something that they didn't do themselves and where i'm failing to understand is why would you let someone take part in something and only later tell them that they actually don't qualify or maybe am i getting this wrong 
Am I getting this wrong? I want to understand why are these rules or regulations that guide this whole game sport not set out before you enter in something? Why would they let her go through it and then only later tell her you don't qualify for it? It doesn't make sense for me. So she won in the 400 meter and just to be told she actually doesn't qualify for the 400 to the 100 and um, 1600 meters because of their testosterone which is high it's so sad it's so sad really and they want now these people to take um to take contraceptives to balance your hormones i guess it doesn't make them women enough which I don't know if it's fair or not, since it's a natural thing. And for me, it always comes to this, that it's always Africans that are always disqualified in this type of games. It's always Africans that are mostly found with high testosterone. We can go back to the likes of Kester Samenya, Simenya, the South African one, and then the likes of France. Francine Nyosamba from Burundi and Kenya's Margareta, Margaret Wambui. All these people are prohibited. 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 To compete in those type of range because of their testosterone level. In... And apparently, because they are refusing to, like the Semenya, the Semenya, them, they're refusing to lower that testosterone with uh, medication, which is obviously contraceptive. They are not allowed to run into that to compete for the eight hundred meter race. And it just makes one wonder: Does that mean as Africans we have high testosterone, or what is the matter? What is a meta? And if it's a natural thing, does that now disadvantage other people? Does that mean they are more advantaged because they are now more manly? So more manly means more length, more strength, or what? It's really just um it's a concerning matter for me. Like, it, it really just makes me wonder. So then, if most Africans are like that, that trains, that do all this type of sport, they really train, they work out. I even wonder, does testosterone grow also, like, become more when, when you exercise more? Maybe does it go higher when you exercise more? And, or what? That's what I want to know. Because then if, if it's exercises that are making these things, making this testosterone go high, then that comes with it in African woman or whatever, then how fair is it to discriminate them? How fair is it to discriminate them? Unless they're telling me that they're going to set up a, another game which will be made only for Africans, then they can, comp can compete against each other, if that makes sense. But anyways, I've never heard this happening to other countries or continents. Or maybe I just didn't do enough research, but definitely a lot of African, Africans, Africans, Africans. Well, guys, that's all I had to say. So tell me in the uh, comment section below, what are your opinions on this? Was this? Is it fair enough for everybody who is taking part? Is it fair for them? Is it fair for Africans? Is it fair for Namibia? Is it fair? Tell me what you what what your opinions are in the description, uh, in the description box below. Because this is just my own opinion and I don't agree with it. I don't. 
I don't at all. For me, I feel like all tests and all all criterias must be done before you even enter a game. Like before you even leave your country, my dear. They must already tell you, send us the result for this and this and this and this. Before you even waste your time and go to another country, you know, to go and, uh, take part in all those things. But anyways, those are my own opinions. It, I'm not saying what I'm saying is right, but this is just how I feel. So, and everybody's entitled to their own opinion. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Annalisa, you have high testosterone. Oh, really? I do. Yes, you do. And you can't take part in the 400 meter running. Athlete. Oh, I can't? No, you can't. Because you're more a man than a woman. Oh, I thought I was a woman. <laughs>